Hello students, you are home to Mathematics with Dr. OJ. In this video, we shall discuss and solve some problems in Lebet Mayor and Theory of Integration. So, we are going to examine some tutorial questions in this particular course. Now, the first question show that an algebra, this is the algebra. It's the form of a poly epsilon in X is a sigma algebra. If I only give for any sequence a n of mutually disjoint elements of the algebra, the union of the sequence is in the algebra. So how do we show this? How do we show this? Let's look at the character how we can show this. Now, let's show the proof. Proof. Let's start with this proof. Now, when we look at this particular given problem, we observe that uh, the uh, algebra, we call it E, or I call it big epsilon is an X and I have to show that it's a sigma algebra if I only use for any sequence of mutually the joint element of that uh, algebra call it E the union of the sequence must be in the, the algebra call it E now let's start with the if <coughs> the union of the sequence, you know, is in the quality E, where this sequence is a sequence of mutually disjoint elements, mutually disjoint elements. We call it E. Then we say the sequence is you no, know, the sequence of mutually joint element. That means there is no intersection between the sequence. Then, by definition, then by definition, it is clear, you observe that it is clear, it is clear that we call it E. Is a sigma algebra from our knowledge of the definition of a sigma algebra. So we started with uh, saying that if the union of the mutual is just uh, the joint as, as uh, element and the sequence is in the you know algebra where a n is a sequence of mutual joint, like I said. So, by definition, obviously, it implies that uh, this uh, E, that is called E, is a sigma algebra. So, that is the first uh, aspect of the proof. Let's look at the second aspect of the proof. We have proved that uh, E, the union of that uh, sequence, is in the algebra. Definitely, that sequence, I mean, that uh, algebra, is a sigma algebra. So, conversely, this is the other side of the proof. Conversely, if the algebra in X is a sigma algebra, if the algebra in X is a sigma, is a sigma algebra, then, then there exists, there exists, then there exists, let's say there exists any sequence. There is any sequence a n, you know, of mutually, of mutually disjoint, of mutually disjoint, mutually disjoint uh, elements of your digger, and you call it E, of call it E, let's say, say, we have A1, A2, 
and so on. With you know a one union a two union others like that, but the elements of the call it e. You know, this is like that. This implies that this implies that the union of all these uh, uh, elements now has been required should be in the quality. So we have proved the combat. We have proved the combat. So let's look at another question. We have proved the combat. Let's look at another question. Question. Now, second question is, second question is, so, question two, so that, so that the intersection of, let's say, AK, which is sequence, A moving from 1 to N, that is finite sequence, is equal to is equal to x difference the union as k moves from 1 to n the finite union of x difference a k. I want to show that the intersection of you know the finite sequence a k is equal to uh, x difference the union of x difference uh, a k. Let's prove this very simple. It's very, very simple. Now, we recall that. We recall. We recall that. First, we recall that. X difference AK for any non empty set X will be equal to AK complement. I hope you can recall that in our set story. Okay. Hence, hence, the union. Of this x difference a k, you know, will be equal to as a, our you know the union of this particular uh, x difference a k. You know, from here we have you know this to be this. So the union will now be because of the union, you know, stretch forward of a k complement. Where k is moving from one to n. Okay, with that, with that. Then you can have, then you can have, therefore, x difference union of x difference ak, okay, will be equal to x minus the union of uh, ak complements with k moving from 1 to n. Remember, this, this the entire thing here is equal to this, okay. Which is now equal to x intersection. This difference will change to intersection of everything you have here. Union a k complements k moving from one to n. I hope you understand. Now, using De Morgan's theorem, let's see by De Morgan's theorem. Now, De Morgan's theorem. Okay. Let's look at what happens using. The Mugans story. I hope you can remember the Mugans story very well. Okay. We have. So we have. And how we use the Mugans story? We need to have x intersection. What so we have here? Now, this everything here can be changed to what? Intersection again. AK. K moving from 1 to. N. So we can call this one equation I. Okay, with this, since AK, since AK, since AK is in X, then the intersection of uh, AK, K moving from 1 to N, will equally be in X. Okay, so equation I, this is equation one, implies this implies that 
is like a, the intersection of AK, the intersection, the intersection of AK, I hope you can understand that from, from high, your K is moving from 1 to N, K moving from 1 to N, will be equals to the intersection of AK as K moves from 1 to N. And see that uh, this has been proved. This has been proved. So what we are asked to prove is what we have proved here. So uh, this is the solution to the two tutorial questions in the best measure and theory of uh, integration. So we shall continue to solve more questions in our subsequent uh, videos. Please subscribe to my channel and click the description bell so that each time I produce new video, you will be notified. Thank you and God bless you.